Hello and welcome to the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of November 12th, 2020. Well, the surge of COVID cases and hospitalizations are pressuring the Congress to basically pass a stimulus package. Joe Biden's coronavirus advisor is advising a nationwide lockdown that is strict as po that is going to be strict as possible. Basically, he says the government can pay for all pay for a stimulus package that can pay for all the lost income of everyone. The politicians are saying that the stimulus package and our health are the number one priorities. Wow, our number one priorities. How nice, right? And I don't feel like a number one priority, but whatever. But they really haven't accomplished nothing this week as far as the stimulus package goes. Lung Trump's, <laughs> Trump's legal advisors predict that the final outcome for this uh, election will be done in two weeks. The Democrats say if the Republicans retain control of the Senate, that Joe Biden can work around the gridlock by issuing executive orders to forgive student loan debt, increase hourly wage, and repurpose funds from other, from other stimulus packages. The unemployment numbers were released this morning. We have nine, we have 7,009 Americans filing for unemployment for the very first time this uh, last week, which is actually down by like 41,000 from the week before, which is actually pretty good. Our COVID cases hit all time newly date new daily high, and the new case this was on Wednesday. Doctor Osterholm, Biden's COVID advisor, said that the United States is on a path to a dark winter and a COVID hell. Yeah, you're right. You heard me right. Dark winter and a COVID hell. Why can't we just have a dark hell and a COVID winter? <laughs> I was like, I couldn't, I, I couldn't give us that out. Dr. Osa Holm, a uh, coronavirus advisor for Joe Biden, says that we need a nationwide lockdown to bring the, the virus under control. He says for the lockdown to work, it has to be as comprehensive and strict as possible. He says we have not come close to even the peak of the virus and hospitals are already being overrun. He says the upcoming holiday will be a super spreader event for everyone. So basically, because people like to get around for Thanksgiving and Christmas and Hanukkah, so, yeah, so a super spreader event. He said, then said that the government could pay for a stimulus package to cover all the lost income for everyone during this lockdown. His direct quote was, we could pass a stimulus package that would cover all the lost wages as well as loss to small companies and to medium companies as well. And he predicts a strict nationwide lockdown for up to six weeks minimum. Up to six weeks minimum. We hit an all-time high of COVID-19 cases of 144,133. Okay. And then uh, the fatalities was 1,893. This was on Wednesday. To be honest, we are in a much more worse position than we were before the elections. That's the bad, that's the bad part, because we actually are. The Democrats wanted to spend $2.2 trillion, and the Republicans wanted to spend $1.92 trillion on the stimulus before the elections. Well, this morning, the leader of the Democrats, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, like leaders, sorry, said that now they want to spend $3.4 trillion as their starting point. Mitch McConnell wants to only spend $650 billion on stimulus. The Democrats are blaming Mitch McConnell for not being reasonable, but Mitch McConnell is blaming Nancy Pelosi, like he always does, for her all-or-nothing attitude and her unwillingness to compromise. Wow, Nancy Pelosi unwilling to compromise? Who would have thought of that, right? The Republicans are saying we could pass a small bill now and if additional stimulus is needed, we could pass more stimulus later. 
keep in mind the Republicans are looking out for our national debt. Well, they put us in debt because we pay more taxes than they do. <laughs> Biden has a, has a plan to repurpose hundreds of billions of dollars in unspent money from previous stimulus packages, meaning the CARES Act and stuff like that. The Democrats want to increase the federal minimum wage to $15, but with an executive order, the government could only increase the pay for federal contractors. So basically, people like me and you out there that aren't a federal contractor, this we couldn't get this to affect us if he issued an executive order. So it actually had to get it passed through the Congress, basically the House and the Senate, so he could pass it and make it law. Otherwise, we're sort of screwed. <laughs> but that's just how it usually is, don't you think? I hope you don't mind my repeating background. This is a video I took of when I was in a 7 parking lot. As you can see, there's three cops right there. There's a car right there. You can't really see the passenger, but they have one person in the car and one person out of the car. And it's just, it looked like they were just harassing the one person outside. You can see, you can see it. You can see, I'm not even find out. You can see him over there, though. <laughs> but until next time, you guys have a great evening. And always remember that this is and always will be the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update. Until next time, stay safe. Remember, we're all in this together. This is all we have. Bye.